everybody has a story of, oh, I remember working on one of these, or I remember my grandma using this. With, the, so, with the foot pedal. With the foot pedal, yeah. Right? yeah. There's plenty to see at the Colony House in Palmer. This is the master bedroom, and pink was the color of the day for master bedrooms. It's filled with treasures. It all works. <laughs> it all works. <laughs> From another time. This home belonged to the Balin family. So that's Oscar and Irene here. They were one of about 200 families who came to the state in 1935. Just good farm people. It was part of a New Deal government agriculture program designed to give Depression-era families from the upper Midwest a new start in the Matsu Valley. On arrival in their new land, colonists drew numbers to see which 40-acre plot of land would be theirs. And they would see, oh, there's my 40 acres, and they would go up there and go, yes or no. Most of them went yes. Jerry Keeling's parents settled their land that way. That's my mom, dad, and my sister, Jean. The daughter of original colonists says life in their new home was often hard. For the parents, big time, mm -hmm. a big, challenging effort, but a good spirit in their hearts. Still, not all of them succeeded. If your definition of success is, did 100% of these people stay and farm, that would be no. Um, did the people have an adventure? Yes. <laughs> Keeling says those adventures are what made growing up here so special. The children in general liked it a whole lot. We felt we were very lucky, and I think to this day, if you were a child growing up here in the valley in those early years, you know you were lucky. Today, people can feel lucky that after years of hard work, the colony house has been completely restored. It's a piece of living history that anyone can visit to learn more about Alaska's past. Telling Alaska's story, I'm Lauren Maxwell.